Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the EVGA GeForce GTX 560 Ti 448 cores classified edition video card. And uh, as with the other EVGA classified edition video card packaging, this is a plain black box with some of the features that are specific to NVIDIA technologies at the top and you have a preview of what the memory configuration is for this kind of card. Now, of course, you've noticed that even though there's a GTX 560 Ti, the memory configuration is different at 1,250 megabytes of GDDR5, which is more similar to the GTX 570 rather than the GTX 560 Ti. Well, we'll go on to that later, but uh, for now, let's flip to the back of the box. So we can see a quick preview of what the GeForce GTX 560 Ti 448 cores classified edition video card looks like. As you can see there, it has the uh, EVGA dual shot cooling design as dual fans and it has a high airflow back bracket at the rear and uh, let's just open up the box right now and see what we can find inside inside the box we can find a large EVGA poster There is a yellow attention uh, flyer in here that uh, just basically mentions that the GTX 560 Ti comes in two versions. You have the classified and the 4 to win version. The classified comes with a 6 pin and 8 pin PCIe connector that plugs into the left side while the 4 to win edition uses a pair of 6 pin PCIe Express power connector that attaches to the front. and. So pull out the entire packaging. Make sure the box is completely empty. You have the documentation. Of course, you have the uh, graphics card user guide. Just a quick overview of what the uh, EVGA features are available for your product, including uh, warranty and support and how to install it and you also have the EVGA driver CD with a with an EVGA case badge just pull it out of course the driver CD also contains the precision software as well as the EVGA uh, OC scanner this is the EVGA case badge and beneath here are the adapters various adapters that come in their own anti-static packaging. You have a pair of 4-pin Molex to a 6-pin PCI Express power connector adapter. You have a pair of 6-pin PCI Express power adapter uh, connector to the to an 8-pin PCIe Express power connector. You have a mini HDMI to a full-size HDMI adapter. And finally you have a VG, uh, rather a uh, DVI to VGA uh, adapter. Uh, as for the card itself, it is inside this uh, anti-static clamshell packaging. Let's open this up and we can take a closer look. And here we have the EVGA GTX 560i 4 and 48 course classified edition video card out of the packaging and First thing we notice is that it is quite substantial in size. In fact, it measures the same as the GTX 580 at 10.5 inches in length. Now, also noticeable is the uh, different cooling design. This is the EVGA dual shot cooling design. It has two fans. We've seen the, these in some of EVGA's designs like the more recent um, EVGA 2 Win, which is a dual GTX 560 Ti. Uh, GP, uh, video, GPU in one PCB and uh, you can see this one it has an EVGA logo on the side. It looks like it lights up. It actually uh, it appears to light to be a red uh, colored here but when it lights up it actually lights a white LED. And here you have a the power connector instead of the reference design of the GTX 560 Ti and the GTX 560 Ti 448 cores. 
which uses a pair of six pin power connectors. This one has an eight pin and a six pin power connector for extra power, of course, when you're overclocking, it helps. And uh, the shroud here is completely closed on the, one, on, the, on the front end while it's open here so the air, air can come out on the side and extends to the back where you have a high airflow bracket installed. And here you also have, just flip this over, you have a pair of dual link DVI ports, dual link of course enough providing enough bandwidth for 3D vision and you have uh, a mini HDMI, you can use the mini HDMI to full size HDMI converter right adapter that is included in the accessory package if you want to use that instead of the DVI and of course uh, you can see some of the um, how the cooling is implemented here and uh, there's no heatsink touching the memory chips but that is not an issue since the dual shot cooling solution just blows down there anyway so it helps cool it a bit uh, but actually we will uh, what we should do is should open up the heatsink and take a closer look at the cooling solution and how the PCB is laid out underneath. So this is what the EVGA GTX 560Ti 440 course classified edition video card looks like with the shroud removed. As you can see the dual fans are built into the uh, the plastic shroud here and the LED on the side is connected with a two pin connector and the both the fans are connected with a four pin PWM fan controller. As for the heat sinks there are five uh, pretty thick heat pipes you can see there and uh, so two sets of fin arrays one for the one right over the VRM area and one over the main uh, GPU area now let's actually try to remove this heat sink right now so we can take a closer look on the PCB itself you can clearly see that the five heat pipes are directly in touch with the uh, GPU core area and this is in fact if you can read closely this is a GF110 rather than a GF114 found in the GTX 560 Ti since this is a GF110 that means it is closer to the GTX 570 and GTX 580 and uh, in fact the layout looks very similar to the GTX 570 as you can see the there's uh, there's two less memory modules in there for the 1020 50 megabyte memory configuration and also since it is a classified edition video card there are uh, six phase digital PWM design here uh, upgraded from the four phases that are in the reference design.